Oh, well, yeah, they went through a whole bunch of bad stuff, especially if they've been, you know, learning the word or been, been knowing the word, however it goes, they called by God. So then, you know, that's just like a, man, that's just like, you know, he think the devil, that would be like basically like the devil think that, or, or the Antichrist think, oh, yeah, all the Christians gone now, man, I got it good. You know, and then these two prophets come out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like he think that everybody's done for, and then these two prophets come out and start wreak ha wreaking havoc on everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got more power than the world has ever seen, you know what I'm saying? The stuff that they saying that they can do in the tribulation, humans have never, I mean, like, they, they do it sporadically, you know what I'm saying? But they're doing it on a constant basis, whatever they want to do. At any time, bringing plagues upon the earth. At any time, shutting down when they prophesy to the, stop the rain. You know what I'm saying? Elijah did it. You know what I'm saying? With his prayer. You know? And uh, shoot, man. But they can do it at any time. You see what I'm saying? You know? And uh, they are clothed in sackcloth and will prophesy during those 1,260 days. Like it's precise dates. It means precise, precise days that, school, that this is going on. It's precise days, you know. Um, so he's giving you 42 months, 1,260 days. You know, this is these real timeline. These two prophets are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of all the earth. Now, remember in that chapter 1, I believe, uh, or chapter 2 of Revelation, book of Revelation, he's talking about the uh, seven lampstands. And the seven stars, and he says the seven lampstands are the seven churches, uh, you know, like of all the earth. And uh, so this one right here is uh, it got the two olive trees, but then it got the two lampstands. I don't know what's up with that, you know, like and they stand before the church. I mean, is that the church? You know what I'm saying? That they that they lead. I mean, you know, here on earth, I'm not I'm not for sure. I don't know. I'm just I'm just telling y'all what I what I thought about when I read this. Uh, that stand, let's see, they are, these two prophets are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of all the earth. If anyone tries to harm them, fire flashes from the mouths of the prophets and consumes their enemies. This is how anyone who tries to harm them must die. They have power to shut the skies so that no rain will fall for as long as they prophesy. And they have the power to turn the rivers of the oceans into blood and send every kind of plague upon the earth as often as they wish. Oh, I forgot I forgot about the turning the, the ocean water into blood. Forgot about that. So these boys is like I say, wreaking havoc on them, you know what I'm saying? Like wreaking havoc on in the tribulation, you know? Because it's a punishment, you know what I'm saying? It's like hell on earth is a tribulation. It's hell on earth, you know, it's like your punishment for not so it's before you get to the big one, you know what I'm saying? He's still giving you time to repent. It's before you get to the big burner, you know, the big lake of fire. You know, he's giving you one more chance in the seven-year tribulation to turn to God, repent of your sins, turn to God and Jesus. You're going to lose your life in the seven-year tribulation. But, hey, you, when you lose your life, you find it in Jesus Christ. You'll awake and you'll be saved. You'll go to that waiting place and you'll be waiting under the altar, waiting for God to come, you know what I'm saying, waiting for God to wreak havoc on these people, you know, the last of your brother's blood to be shed. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be good. We're going to be good. We all going to be good, you know? All those who believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Since they're trying, uh, they trying to persecute us, you know. Jesus, my Lord, defend us, Lord. Be our, be our Savior, Lord, my God. You are our Savior. You are our deliverer. Please don't let these people deceive us, Lord God. Please let us be saved, my God. Please let us no harm to come to us, my God. Save us and our and our families, our friends, everyone, my God. The whole body of Christ. You know, that's our that's that's our family, you know. So save us. Save the whole world, Lord God. Save the whole world, my God. All right. And then uh so they will when they complete their testimony, the beast that comes out of the sea, uh the beast that comes out of the bottomless pit will declare war against them. Now, I mind you, uh, in, the, in the, I think it was the scripture, the the chapter right before it was talking about this this beast, you know, this uh, that comes out of the bottomless pit. But it's the antichrist that they're talking about right here, because like I said, this is a time period of the seven year tribulation. So, 
uh, the beast, let's see, when, they're, when, they're, when they complete their testimony, the beast that comes out of the sea, uh, the beast out of the bottom, I want to I, I say that for some reason, the, the beast out of the bottomless pit will declare war against them. He will conquer them and kill them, and their bodies will lay in the, the main streets of Jerusalem, the city. So, mind you, so uh, they're, they're going to be in Jerusalem, these people in seven to seven year tribulation, they're going to be in Jerusalem, these prophets. They're going to come, they're going to be in Jerusalem. You know, that doesn't say what ethnicity they, are, the ethnicity they are or any of that, you know, but it just says that that's, that's where they're going to be killed. You know, that's where they're going to be, your body's going to be laying. Nobody's going to touch it. For And the city which is called Sodom and Egypt, the city where their Lord was crucified. And for three in a half days, all peoples, tribes, languages, and nations will come and stare at their bodies. See, so these people in this tribulation, these people are pretty evil. You understand? You got to remember that, too. These are the people that didn't accept Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior, you know, and God didn't accept them. So this gonna, you got to think of the time, the people in the time. It's going to be really, really bad because, you know, the people are the ones who destroy the earth. You know what I'm saying? The things that they do, the decisions they make. You know, make the make the problems of the earth. You know, so man, these people so so these people cheering. You know, what I'm saying that these people because they've been they've been getting tormented. You know, uh, but they can't touch the body. They don't touch the body. Nobody was allowed. No no one will be allowed to bury them. All the people who belong to this world will give presents to each other to celebrate the death of the two prophets who had tormented them. Okay, so uh, so you know what I'm saying they giving gifts, they happy, you know that the, these prophets that's been just turned up the heat on them and just been, you know, torturing them day and night. You know what I'm saying? Like having they they been hell on earth, you know, by some people, by Christians. You know what I'm saying? People who like believe in Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? They still getting they still the thing that they hate the most. They still getting defeated by. You understand? It's not until you join that they would, then they can mark you, you know what I'm saying? Then they can mark you, and, you know, you won't be harmed, you know, in this seven-year tribulation. I'm telling I'm talking to the people that won't make it, you know, that won't believe. You know, remember this, too, you know what I'm saying? You still going to have a memory. You still going to remember all this stuff when we gone, when we taken up in the rapture. You still going to remember the words that I spoke, you know what I'm saying? The words that I spoke to my Lord Jesus. Because all these things are going to come to pass, and y'all going to remember. And some, this is going to save some of y'all through that, in that seven-year tribulation. It's not going to listen. It's going to save some of y'all, you know, and that's what I'm, that's like I said, that's what I'm here for. You know, I care about all y'all. I'm not here to judge y'all. I'm here to save y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just like Jesus said, I didn't come to judge. I came to save. You know what I'm saying? I came to bless. You know what I mean? I ain't on this earth. You know, when Jesus come back. He coming as a lion, you know what I'm saying? He came as the lamb the first time. The second time, he coming as the lion, king of the jungle, the king of the world, the king of the universe, the king. And he going to judge everyone accordingly to all their deeds, all, everything, every word they spoke, every deed, that they, every action that they took part in, you know what I mean? So, but, uh, so, so, uh, so they were allowed to, you know, so no one is allowed to bury him and, uh, all the people who belong to this world will give presents to each other to celebrate the death of the two prophets who had tormented them. But after three and a half days, the spirit of life from God entered them, and they stood up. The terror struck, uh, struck all who were staring at them. Then a voice shouted from heaven, Come up here. And they rose to heaven in a cloud as their enemies watched. See, they earned their salvation. You see what I'm saying? They didn't make it in the rapture, but they still, these people here fought for it. And you know what I'm saying? They changed, you know, because they were chosen from the foundation of the earth, before the earth began, before the earth was formed. You know, we were with Jesus. We, I read that. I just read that. I forgot where. But we were, we were with Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Like before, we were written in the book of the Lamb, the book of the Lamb. We were written in the book of the Lamb. Our names were in it before the, the foundation of the earth, before the foundation begun. Before, so we've already made our decision from the beginning. God already made his decision with us, the ones who will accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, that he is the Messiah. Those are the people that, that he's chosen from the beginning, and we will, we will be there. And so uh, let's see. 
and they rose to, they rose to heaven, the two prophets, in a cloud as their enemies watched. So they get raptured too. <laughs> How about that? You know, after they get killed, they get raptured right in front of these people's eyes three days later, just like Jesus, you know. Ain't that cold, you know. That's how. That's what I'm telling. That's how kind our Lord is. You think, oh, he's not gonna give nobody no power in the seven year tribulation if they're a Christian? Not even true. Not even true. He will. He's showing it. He's saying it right here. And in the same hour, there was a terrible earthquake that destroyed a tenth of it of the city. Seven thousand people died in that earthquake, and everyone who did not die was terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second terror has passed. But look, now the third terror is coming quickly. The seventh, I might as well keep reading the, the, the whole chapter. The seventh trumpet brings the third terror. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices shouting in heaven. The whole world has, become, has now become the kingdom of the, our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign forever and ever. And the 24 elders sitting on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshiped him. And they said, we give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who always was. For now you have assumed your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were angry with you, but now the time of your wrath has come. It is time to judge the dead and reward your servants. You will reward your prophets and your holy people, all who fear your name, from the great least to the greatest, and you will destroy all who have caused destruction on the earth. Then in heaven, the temple of God was opened, and the ark of his covenant could be seen inside the temple. Hmm, that's an interesting fact, because that temple, that ark, has been missing for many, many years, thousands of years. And that's interesting that he says that finally, you know what I'm saying, then after all of, after the final judgment, then in heaven the temple of God was opened. The temple of God, the church, the door was open. My God, the, the real the house of the Lord, the t real temple of the Lord was open, and the ark of his covenant could be seen inside the temple. Man, so that's where it said it's in heaven, man. I mean, that's this is my opinion. It's in heaven. Lightning flashed, thunder crashed, and ro roared. There was a great hailstorm, and the world was shaken by a mighty earthquake. Okay. So this is, this right here, this is chapter 11, is the last three and a half years of the seven-year tribulation. The last three. The, uh, the, the three, the, the, it's the second terror. The second and third terror is in... Uh, and this is the the last three years of the, the last three and a half years of the seven year tribulation. Um, man, this is some, some amazing stuff, man. God is amazing. God is amazing, man. And I believe His word so much, you know. I believe every word that's being spoken in this in this Bible. And you know, I'm gonna give it to y'all the best way I can, you know, which is the right way. You know, I'm not gonna play around. No, you know, I don't play around with the word of God. You know what I do on my on, in my personal life, whatever I do, you know, whatever, I mean, we are dual natured. I was thinking, well, never mind. But I, I was going to tell y'all, you know what I'm saying, we are dual natured, you know what I'm saying, and I have uh, different sides. But if, if it's like different sides of me appeals to different people. You know, like this right here should be appealing completely to Christians because I'm really giving y'all the truth. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is the true meaning. What I'm, what I'm reading, I'm... You know what I'm saying? God has given me the ability to understand what I'm reading, you know, and to have the wisdom to to give it to y'all, you know, to what I'm receiving. You know, so I just thank the Lord, you know, and I, I, I want to bless all of y'all in Jesus' name. I love you all, and, uh, you know, we're going to work on everything, and God bless this this church, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, I'm here doing holy work, you know, can't nobody ever deny that. You know, whatever they say about me, cool, whatever, but they can't deny that I'm doing God's work. We see it in, you know, in the right in their face. So, God bless.